What's up, guys? All right, camera's over here. Okay, keep looking over that way. All right, I, I'm, I'm gonna make a video for a long and weighted video for everyone who's just starting out with peptides. And this is a very important video because when I remember when I first started, I had a lot of questions that I wasn't sure of, and trying to get information on the internet and these guys on YouTube seems like they only want to give you bits and pieces of information, leave out half of the information leave out most of the information, whatever, man. Anyways, my background is I'm a fireman and a paramedic for 24 years now, okay? So when it comes to drug calculations, drug dosing, that kind of stuff, uh, learned all that in school. So this is uh, really simple for me, and I, I get it, understand it. I was also a paramedic instructor uh, for college students and all kinds of stuff. So when it comes to teaching, I got a pretty good knack on teaching because I know what I wanted to learn um, and it's always difficult and hard to find. You got to patch a bunch of different stuff together and finally come up with a conclusion. Well, this is where I'm good at. I put all that passion together and put it all into one quick little simple video uh, for people to understand real easy. So this is a, your first class basically on peptides. And it's a 101. Watch this one, very first one, and this will help a lot of confusion that people have. And it's confusion, like I even write down all of my notes on, on all of my videos and stuff like that. I show you all my notes and I print them out, give them to people, and they still are confused. I'm like, what am I doing wrong here? What am I missing? It's, it's, it's so, I'm gonna go over those, those kinds of stuff. So in all of my videos, because I always forget to say this stuff and I suck at making videos. Um, basically, uh, all the peptides, everything, I do my own research, you know, I form my own conclusions, so. Um, obviously, you all need to do your own research and form your own conclusions as well. But all of my notes that I take down, that's all my math, all my notes and everything. So, um, and so when I go over a, a specific peptide, always refer to the video description. I'll, I always post the whole, the whole protocol in the video description. And I'll, sometimes I'll add a peptide calculator on there. If you have your own, you, you can go there. But yep, so, but you can always find the, the once again, in the video description, I always have it in there, uh, the protocol and how to do it and stuff like that. And I try to make my videos really uh, short and sweet. So let's start. And here's what you have to check out. So first thing that people get confused on is the milligrams, grams, micrograms, stuff like that. What is that? So when you get a peptide, say you got um, um, retitrutide, five milligrams. So that means you're gonna have five milligrams in the vial. Milligrams is the dry drug. So whenever you're talking to people on Reddit, and a lot of people on Reddit make, make, the, uh, make these mistakes, they give drug doses in cc's and milliliters. Well, cc's and milliliters, never use that as a drug measurement. It's just the measurement of fluid that you mix your dry drug, which is milligrams, in. So never talk about dosing any of your, any of your dosages in, in fluid level. CC, it's just how much you're mixing with your compound, okay? Compound just is your dry drug, your peptide, okay? So here's some basic math. It's just like cooking, right? You got your cups, you know, grams, milligrams, same thing. A thousand micrograms, because some of your peptides, like C-Max and stuff like that, are dosed in micrograms, right? Um, so... A thousand micrograms equals one milligram. A thousand milligram equals one gram, okay? And then on most of these uh, C, uh, uh, syringes, one cc equals 100 units, okay? So you have smaller syringes like 0.33 syringes. That will equal 0.33 syringes. That'll be a total of 30, 30 units, all right? So 30 units on the 1cc syringe is the same 30 units on the 0.33 syringe, even though the syringe is smaller. So just so you guys know, all right? So I'm going to come over here and show you some of the stuff I have here on the table, all right? Some of the stuff that I got off of Amazon, all right? And the differences between syringes, all right? So these 1cc syringes are awesome. They're individually packed. You got 100 units, BH supplies, love these. They're 29 gauge, and when you get these, you wanna make sure they are U100s. Most of them are U100s, okay? 
Then I was using these for a little while, 30 gauges. These are good, but the problem with these is that I wouldn't say less than half the time when you go to pull up, you go to pull up the mix out of here, it cavitates. So the the plunger in here, it leaks somehow and it has you take a bunch of tries. Sometimes you end up throwing out a brand new syringe because it won't it won't engage. Okay. Then I'm trying this one right now, individually packed. I like these um, for pets. These are also 29 gauge needles. So 29 gauge, the same needle size as this. You know, let me show you. So, but what I'm finding when you're doing, when you're researching a bunch of different peptides a day, um, you know, here, I'll show you this. I'll get back to that. All right, so here's my one cc, right? Pull this off, pull this off. See these here? So this is a 0.33 syringe, right? 100, 0.3, 0.33 right here, 30 units. So 30 on here is the same as 30 over here. Same thing. We see the needle size, it's the same thing, right? And then you have these one over here that go, that don't work half the time. You got that little, little baby needle right here, all right? Let's compare to those. This is a 29 gauge, okay? Get that in there. That's a 29 gauge. It's basically it's a lot. It's it's believe me, it's it's a lot smaller and it goes in a lot smoother. I'll try it again here. So after experimenting with both of these, if I could find I want to find these in 30 gauge instead of 29, and I think that'll be a little less more painful on the prick. Okay, another thing, look to the side, these little vials that most of peptides come in. So this is a five milligram. So this is Redditrutide, all right, from Peptide Nirvana. This is, if it's five milligram Reda, 10 milligram Reda, that, remember, that's just the dry drug inside, okay? These vials, are considered three 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 cc three cc three cc vials technically okay but it doesn't matter so when you see redotrutide or terzepatide semaglutide or i don't know aod bpc 1257 tb 500 who knows um when you see all those with like five milligrams or 10 milligrams or 50 milligrams like ghcku fifth comes usually 50 milligrams it's it's all it's all they all come in the same size vial. Three C three C C vial. Three C C vial. That's it. So I think that'll do it, man. Basics of the peptides, um, math and stuff like that. So I think that'll wrap it up, man. Um, you guys have a good day and hope this video finds you well. Stay cool out there, friends. Talk to you later. Bye.